Oh, holy crap, that hurts. Hi there, it's Frank Simon with Simon Says Roses, Floris and Gifts with you again today. There's a debate in the floral industry, and it's been going on for 20 years now, whether to dethorn a rose or just to leave it as, as nature's always had it with the sharp tips on them. Now, I have to estimate over my career of 20 years, I've probably processed between four to 500,000 roses in that time. I'm one of those that leaves nature alone. I don't dethorn roses. If you want to dethorn, just to protect yourself, however, very carefully, and I'll just move the rose around here, go to the very tip of the rose thorn and just remove the very end. All too often, you see roses that, and I'm going to damage this one actually deliberately, that take off too much of the thorn itself and actually damage the stem itself, the wooden portion. Once you do that, it's like cutting yourself and it forms a scab. The rose will form a scab at that area where you've cut too close to the stem itself and it will prohibit water from going up the stem into the bloom and prematurely causing your rose to die. You've got to be careful. You don't want to get pricked on the one hand, but on the other hand, if you do remove the sharp por portion of the thorn, remove just the very tip of it. Care and attention when processing your roses is essential. Thanks. Bye-bye.